February. The time of year for people to go outside and touch grass, think about Splatoon 3 with summoning circles, and get excited over a Nintendo Direct that hasn't officially been announced yet. A lot of Splatoobers have been talking about their predictions, more specifically on the Squid Game side of things. Some mentioned that we might be getting a global test fire, some mentioned the Splatoon 3 Direct being announced, and everyone will be screaming their lungs out once we finally get that release date. I mean, we are finally in 2022, the year Splatoon 3 finally releases after nearly a whole year of being announced, which is actually crazy. I have a list of personal predictions that I totally have not scripted so that I could read this out loud. I would also like to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. But without further ado, let's start predicting. The first thing I would like to predict for Splatoon 3 is a release date. It makes so much sense for Nintendo to finally share this with us. It has been very long awaited, especially after us getting two trailers. I would still like to believe that we will be getting it in summer 2022. I think it fits the theme of the game perfectly, and we already have Kirby and the Forgotten Land as our upcoming spring title from Nintendo. And knowing how they work, they don't like to release their major games too close to each other. My safest bet would be June of this year. Next up is the Global Test Fire. To be completely honest, I was initially against the idea of us getting a test fire so soon, but the more I thought about it, the more I'm starting to think that maybe it's actually a possibility. Splatoon 2 had their global test fire 4 months before the full game's release. A lot of fans have really enjoyed their experiences with the demo and couldn't be more excited to see what the final game had to offer. So, in the case of Splat 3, we might get a bigger and better demo. Maybe we'll have more weapons available like the blasters and the splatlings. And the bowtie weapon is a guarantee for sure. Now, the next prediction I'm about to make is not necessarily a prediction, but I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it, and figure that maybe I should talk about it too. Fans have been predicting a Splatoon 3 Direct to be announced during a Nintendo Direct, but to be honest, I feel like they're expecting way too much from this presentation. Number one, we still don't know the release date. Announcing a Direct alongside that and or a global test fire does not make sense. At that point, Nintendo would just be spoon-feeding us way too much. And number two is something I've stated earlier in the video, is that Kirby in the Forgotten Land is coming out next month. And I'm sure Nintendo's busy focusing on that game at the moment. I want to mention that these directs usually happen exactly three weeks before the game's release. This was proven by both the Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 directs. So, once we do get that release date, we will automatically know when that Splat 3 Direct will happen. I don't exactly know what else to say besides guess on what might get revealed. Anyway, that's all my Nintendo Direct predictions for Splatoon 3. Let me know what you think about these in the comments below. Feel free to give a like or a dislike, whichever helps, and I will see you all again. Bye!